lab in a pharmaceutical company. It's a glycerin emulsion that we're making. I'm a mechanical engineer, and I specialize in mechanical and solvent-based extraction forms. And it sounds like big business. There's two products we're going to be promoting, and then three aspects of it. The social media, which includes the Facebook, the Twitter, the email marketing, and then any press relations that we can garner from it. This is Dixie Elixirs, a medical marijuana infusion company. Just like any other factory here. Today it's a $1.7 billion market. In five years it's going to be a $9 billion market. Dixie takes the active ingredients out of marijuana and puts them into products you eat and drink. We're a registered facility by the state of Colorado. Trip Keeber is the entrepreneur at the helm of the operation. Our flagship product is the medicated elixir. It's a THC-infused product designed to provide medicinal benefits to the patient. Is it essentially a soda? I don't believe I manufacture a pop soda. I manufacture a medical elixir. And I believe there's a distinction. I mean, there's tens of thousands of dollars worth of research and development that have gone into that. This is a trade secret. I kind of like having a cigarette in your Coca-Cola. Okay, well, then there's a flavored Kool-Aid that comes out of soda. So is this the finished product now? Yes. And ultimately, it is our single most popular product line that we have. Is this the equivalent to, like, smoking a joint? That would be the equivalent of one and a half grams through a marijuana cigarette. Yep. One and a half grams is a big joint. It is. Tripp says he's invested a million dollars of his own money into Dixie. We have 24 full-time employees and then four paid consultants. And they are one of the biggest suppliers of marijuana-infused products to dispensaries across the state. The range of products is vast, from the pop soda to massage oil to chocolate marijuana truffles. This is their latest product line. This is a brand-new product that's only a couple of weeks old. It's a pharmaceutical-grade cannabis capsule. That is an AM focus. So there's actually an F focus? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. I've never heard of marijuana being used to help focus. So where's the raw stuff? So we're probably – so this product will basically be changed into a liquid format later today. How much is this? This is approximately 5.9 pounds. Because you're in kind of this legal gray area, the feds must look at you not just as a dealer but a drug kingpin. You're manufacturing on a massive level. Does that make you nervous at all? There are a pair of red dice on my desk. That's to remind me that there is an inherent gamble. The legal weed trade in Colorado. The state of Colorado took in just under $23 million in fees, taxes, and licensing. This year it's forecast that it will be close to a $35 million windfall for the state government. So you take the medicinal aspects coupled with the fact that we're building jobs, thousands of jobs, and putting millions of dollars into the state coffers, I think we're aligning ourselves for what I would call long-term success. These marijuana stores operate in violation of federal law. The federal government is sending a very strong warning to California medical marijuana producers. Don't buy from them. 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 Don't buy